Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below, your purchase and pricing email question line. For buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform, please reach out to me directly, email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a 2021 limited edition of 300 pieces in grade 5 titanium, one of the coolest watches to come from Frankfurt in a long time. This is the Zinn R500 Driver's Chronograph. Now, the timepiece is 42 millimeters in diameter, and it is a lugless watch, which means it is also 42 millimeters from lug to lug, and although it has an angled case to make for easier reading on the wrist, especially when your wrist is on a steering wheel, it does have a 16.2 millimeter maximum thickness, and although the strap is locked in by screws, theoretically, any properly cut 24 millimeter strap would fit in. Now, let's take a quick look at the watch on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch wears considerably smaller than its 42 millimeter size would suggest. You could see that the lugs of this watch, being only 42 millimeters end to end, are nowhere near the edge of my wrist, to the point that although it's bulbous and protrudes tall above the wrist, this could be worn by a lady. You could absolutely get away with this. It's so short across the wrist and so light, being all titanium and sapphire, that a woman could wear this, especially a woman with an interest in driving, racing, or driver's watches. Now, taking a quick look at the hardware and the software, the strap has a perforation pattern very similar to what you would have found on leather and synthetic straps used on motorsports chronographs or motorsports marketed chronographs of the 1970s. To that end, we also have a contrasting red stitch. It's all black calfskin and it's quite thick cut. Zin straps are substantial. Somehow they also manage to feel buttery even when they're brand new. I don't know why that is, but my old EZM 1.1 strap was exactly like that. Here you can see no crimping or gouging. This is a brand new Zin factory strap cut specifically for this model. It comes with a matching grade 5 titanium media blasted Zin pin buckle. You can see we have a combination of media blasting and then satination for the case itself. So grade 5 titanium is hypoallergenic, but then it's also lighter than steel and more scratch resistant than steel. Grade 5 titanium is harder than most watchmaking steels. You can see that there's a little bit of a bevel to the bezel, although truth be told, this is a monoblock case with the mid case and the bezel all one piece. Everything loads through the case back. It's also a bull head, which means like the horned head of a bull, we have chronograph push up at the top. There's a screw down crown unexpectedly for a driver's watch, this 200 meter water resistance. So you've got quite a bit of hermeticity on a different kind of strap. This could be used for swimming. And then we have these lovely pushers that feature satination across all their surfaces and a rounded bevel on their side. Taking a quick look at operation, here is your start stop. Then here is your reset. The action is superb. Although this is a cam chronograph, it is tuned in-house it's in. It's also regulated in-house it's in. And the feel is as positive as a column wheel. So this is truly high-grade Valju 7750 inside of the case with some modifications performed for the orientation of the sub-registers as well as the presence of a power reserve indicator. Now we will do a loom shot here. This is a loomed watch. You can see it in the dark. And as you can see, you can see it quite easily in the dark. Taking a quick look at the dial, there's a tachymeter outboard calibrated up to 500 units. This is great for gauging the speed of an object such as a race car across a kilometer. Now we have polished hands at center. You can see we also have polished chapter rings for each of the sub-registers and we have a lovely off-white used for those sub-registers for a little bit of warmth on the dial. You can see all of the indices are applique rhodium plated steel so this is an upscale modern look. We also have a date disc that is the same color as the register in which it's sits, which is a good piece of judgment on Zinn's part. We'll unscrew the crown here. Now we do have a 48 hour automatic winding power reserve. It's a unidirectional winder like all 7750s are. And then you have that power reserve right there. Now if you want to wind the watch, of course the power reserve will move much more rapidly for a little piece of horological theater as I always like to say. And of course we do have a stop seconds function. So if you want to stop the movement entirely, stop the seconds hand and set it to a reference time, you can easily do so. The watch also has, in spite of the 
orientation of the dial. A lot of times when you have this orientation, this balanced register with a 7750, you wind up with a 7753 that doesn't have a quick set. This absolutely has a quick set and a very crisp one. So make no mistake, despite the orientation of the register, this is not a 7753 base. This is absolutely a quick set date 7750. Flip it all over, but let's first take a quick look. You can see these unique spade style hands used for chronograph minutes and chronograph hours. A great looking dial with a black base and a black tack. And you can see that it's got wonderful depth and several different focal planes. Flip it all over, you can see individual numbering out of the 300 pieces. It is 200 meters water resistant. It is grade five. Inside, you've got that Zen modified Velju 7750, unidirectional winding, automatic, 48 hour power reserve, stop seconds, quick set, four hertz, speed rate 25 joules. You've got a oscillating pinion clutch with a cam style engagement mechanism and then a power reserve addition. One of the things that's worth noticing about these 7750s is because the oscillating pinion has very little play in its operation. This is a feature you tend to see on super high-end chronographs from the likes of Debitune and FP Journ, but it's also endemic to Valju 7750 architectures. If you push and you hold, you'll almost always get very little movement or jump to the chronograph seconds hand, which is not something you ordinarily get on other lateral clutch architectures, which tend to jump one to two seconds forward when you start them up. So oscillating pinion, an unusual refinement overall, but endemic to the 7750s and a big part of their appeal in my opinion. You can also see it's made in Germany. These are made in Frankfurt by Zinn Spezialuren. They are best known for pilot's watches, but they are also known for diving and driving and driving is what this watch is all about. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.